Sean Rodden at the 2018 Mr. Olympia versus Victor Martinez at the 2007 Mr. Olympia. I wanted to conclude my Victor's videos with the last one against Phil Heath, but I've received a lot of requests asking me to do this one. So here we go. The front double biceps shows that they both have wide chest, shoulders, lats, and small waist to grant them an impressive V-taper. Victor has the better biceps, but Sean's conditioning is on another level. Although he had major weaknesses in his package, it was Sean's conditioning which enabled him to defeat Phil who was suffering from the blow to the stomach. Victor has the wider and the denser lats and we will see that in the rear lat spread. Sean looks very proportional and symmetrical in this pose. I like how his ripped chest flows with his shoulders along with his lats and small waist. After comparing Victor to the greats in the sport, I still believe that his upper physique looks phenomenal in the side chest pose. He looks more aesthetic and pleasant to the eye than Sean. Notice the striations in his chest and shoulders, and the definition and the separation in his arms. At the same time, Sean presents insane conditioning and separation in his lower section. Take a look at the striations in his quads and glutes and the deep split between the quads and the hamstrings. The back double biceps shows that Victor has the better biceps peak, while Sean has the more rounded shoulders. They both have ripped lats and traps, but there is nothing outstanding about their pose. Sean has the more striated glutes, but they both have ripped hamstrings. The rear lat spread shows that Victor has the wider and the denser lats regardless of the difference in the photo's measurements. Sean lacks the width and the depth in his lats to match Victor in this pose. The size and the conditioning in their lower section definitely make them both Mr. Olympia caliber. The triceps might be among Sean's least impressive muscular groups, as they do not show properly in this pose. Victor has the more massive triceps which stand out perfectly. However, Sean dominates with his insane conditioning. He turned his physique into a sculpture last year. The superior definition and separation in his quads and glutes are way beyond Victor's level. Sean's inhuman conditioning continues to show in the abs and thighs with his engraved and insanely ripped abs. Victor might be having the more symmetrical abs, but Sean perfectly wins the battle of conditioning. They both have powerful quads, but I think Sean has the better ripped and separated quads with visible striations. Although Sean has very powerful shoulders as we saw in the back double biceps, he does not impress me much in this pose, and I find myself leaning towards Victor with his great proportions and symmetry. His ripped chest flows perfectly with his massive shoulders and phenomenal arms, which look better defined and separated than those of Sean in this pose. Here is another most muscular with the hands on the thighs. You can notice the size and the definition of Sean's shoulders and the superior conditioning which turned his physique into a human sculpture. Victor, on the other hand, looks more aesthetic and better balanced between his muscular groups. Victor would win the front double biceps, the rear lat spread, the side triceps, and the most muscular. Sean would win the front lat spread and the abs and thighs. The side chest and the back double biceps could go either way depending on the eye of the beholder. Although Victor would win the aesthetics, Sean would dominate with his insane conditioning, definition, and separation he showed everywhere, especially in his quads and glutes, which would give him the win over Victor, even if the latter won more poses. Let me know what you think about this matchup, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.